Frontier FX. Good morning. Coming at you end of end of January here. Last three days of January. Today's the 28th. Hope everyone had a good weekend. We have um, a couple of charts that are important at the open this morning. I wanted to point out uh, first and foremost this euro chart 114.25, exactly the same high as we printed on the 16th of January capped it in Asia um, you see once we get through this 114 and a quarter we got a lot of clear air on the top side so this is a point to watch out for uh, we're 114.08 now I have a feeling that uh, at the European Open at the London Open we are going to push higher through this so we're square euro at the moment um, but this looks like it wants higher uh, and if you're through that, you're just going to use this this 200 200 units sort of four hour four hourly 200 unit line um, at 114 the figure with it for your stops. So let's keep a close eye on uh, 114.25 this morning. Elsewhere, we don't often trade gold, uh, but uh, very. Um, very interesting close. A little bit choppy there uh, at the end. Here's the gold dailies. Uh, we're really focusing heavily on this 1312 level, so it's another percent away, but it was already very important to close above 1300. This is a big, big bullish bar. Gold is a buy on dip today. We, we feel like we are going to attack this 1312 level. Um, and so let's keep an eye on gold. We're going to be dipping our toes into the long side in gold. It's going to be. It's going to look something like, you know, we're going to buy maybe tiny here at the open and leave sort of bids at 96, um, and then maybe 90. So little minuscule fades uh, to try and accumulate the correct position size. But because your stop has to be way lower can't plunge into gold at the, at the moment, but you want to start building into longs. What else is out there? Aussie, what a ridiculous bar that was on Friday. Wow. We weren't playing around in the Aussie, but that was ridiculous. Caught the market very, very short. Gold is obviously helping the Aussie here. Um, you just got to keep an eye on U.S. and Chinese trade talks this week for Aussie very very difficult to trade at the moment uh, news driven uh, sentiment driven as far as equities risk on risk off so it's a combination trade uh, I've been finding it incredibly tricky we had this bearish engulfing followed by bullish engulfing you rarely see that and when I do see that I just go step away I mean your conviction bear then your conviction bull one day from the next that basically means you have no fucking idea what's going on uh, and leave it alone what else dollar yen I cannot believe we didn't take out stops at 110 it's very very telling this is bearish uh, the fact that we went 91 bid on the shutdown news and couldn't get through 110 to figure late on Friday means that this uh, we've put in the top here so your short dollar yen uh, going forward just core short um, keep your eyes obviously on equities which looks like which look like they've turned a little bit but this is not really conviction turn um, dollar yen looks conviction short uh, the only thing that could turn this is you know a positive result to US trade the US Chinese trade um, so you got to watch your watch your headlines, but we are going to be core short dollar yen today. Uh, what else? Cable is hanging up here. T you know, the Brexit news is they're going to avoid a no no. Uh, they're going to avoid a no deal. Even just in the last 15 minutes, Ireland is squawking about like they're not going to accept changes in the agreement uh, so looks a bit murky but the reason cable is bid is 
it looks like they're, they're going to avoid a no deal one way or the other. It's either going to be referendum, uh, which is no Brexit, most likely, and that's, that's an unlikely scenario, but they're just going to stuff this deal through. They're going to have to come to a compromise, and once everybody realizes, once the deal is done, trade negotiations was, this is an evolution, it's an evolving process, right? This is just going to go last into the next 50 years. Um, so, the Brexit fear trade looks like it's over. Uh, I don't have the balls to buy cable on dips today. I'm staying away from cable, but I will be watching uh, very closely this 133 level. Hugely important. Uh, and there will be at least short-term money to be made while we're dancing around this level. It's 107 points away, but you want to watch 133 and watch the headlines for, for cable. The main focus today is short dollar yen and we'll be looking at this 114.25 level in euro. Uh, the other stuff as we say is radar. We're also looking to, to be building into a long gold position. I'll leave you guys with that. Those are the best chart points and the best uh, sort of European open strategies here. Uh, we'll follow this up with some Twitter uh, banter. You could argue that we should be um, looking at short boons as well, um, but wasn't the most convi convi conviction close on Friday. So we really want to see prices below this 165 before we get conviction short boons. But we are watching boons up here. It looks very frothy um, to be determined. All right, I'll leave you guys with that. Have a great day trading. Make tons of dough, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao.